When you look at the whole tattoo, where's the face? Which part of the body is which part of the body? When you back up on this thing five feet, what the is going on with it? You have that eyebrow, and then the spine of the other body come around is directly right where that eyebrow is. Then you got the nose, and where the body comes off the nose is perfectly right off that nose with the same green. It's so on top of itself that you lost it on legibility for me today. This week, we are testing your flexibility, and there is no better test than a cover-up. Cover-ups are super difficult. We have to work with what's there already. We have to make it look like there was nothing there in the first place. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass looking design, but it's a lot of work to get done with all the texture and detail in six hours. Why'd you have to pick something with all that fur, man? I could be really shooting myself in the foot here. There's a lot that I want to do to this piece that I know I don't have the time for. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is it, people. Time's up. Machines Ooh. down. No more ink. This week, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover prison tattoos. Frank. And this is a rough one, man. Tried to go a little bit ballsy. I knew there was gonna be a lot of detail. But the detail just does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not gonna know that's a tongue. Looks like a ball sack. <laughs> There's not one clean bit of outline anywhere. You showed me everything you can't do. Don't do things to point out your weaknesses. Do things to point out your strengths. Dragon's better than mine. Dude, that is bad as hell, man. The basic thing of this is to find the worst tattoo. Frank McManus, who feels that that should be one of the bottom? That would be mine. I was going for another pit bull, more realistic, and then we ended up doing a baboon. It looks like a dead baboon with a broken jaw. I believe you should have closed his mouth and showed more of the face. That might be the worst one. Today, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover up prison tattoos. Frank? Maddie, Mike, you are all in the bottom, and one of you will be getting a death sentence. Frank. You didn't get any of the textures, from the hair to the mouth to the teeth. When you match up the technical aspects of tattooing, like line, shade, color, we're missing everything to judge. I don't think all the shading's bad on that. I think there's some really solid parts that I really dig. The judges have decided. Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. There's not much in this to compare to the other two people that are in the bottom with you. You got outdone. Please pack your machines and close shop. Artists, this is it. This is your final chance to earn a spot in the live finale. You have six hours to tattoo the design of your choice. And your time starts now. These artists have got to this point because they battled it out. This is their reward to get to show the world what they do. I think we got it. These last tattoos should be the best of the bunch. There shouldn't be any misfires. This is the most important tattoo they can do. Ideas start to pop in my head immediately. I'd really like to take realism to surrealistic places where gravity doesn't exist and people have no brain. To make sure we get the portraits done in time, I think we're gonna try to peel their faces off. If I want to make it to the finale, I have to take a risk and drop Jaws. This is the most exciting challenge yet. I've had difficult, if not the worst, canvases in every situation. So to have so much freedom over what I want to do in design might help me win the challenge. I really like my design. I want people to come to me for weird, dark imagery. That's what I want to do. Either I'm doing a really weird tattoo, or maybe it's just so cool. I think I took a big risk. We'll see if it pays off. It's coming alive. Oh man, it'd be so nice to have 100 grand. 100 grand is a life-changing amount of money. Imagine it is a fun day. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing with different dimensions and textures, but my canvas keeps getting redder and redder. His skin seems to be taking less of the ink. I have to make darker choices here. 
The shocker of the day for sure is Kyle. His design is very hard to read, and I don't know what he is envisioning in his head, but it'll be interesting to see how he tries to pull it off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, machine's down, no more ink. Oh man, that is so badass. Kyle's tattoo is messed up. I really can't tell what it is. Thank God it will probably save me and secure me that seat to the finale. Today, we gave you an epic challenge to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000. Based on your tattoos, one of you is going home. Kyle. First, will you do me a favor and just tell me what's going on here? There's a girl with the Day of the Dead makeup on her. The makeup's taking on a life of its own, and it's leaving her body floating up as she's holding a skull. I'd like to be able to transport the viewer into some kind of realm of just like, what the Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you've succeeded. Looking at this design, and I'm right up on it, it's very difficult to figure out exactly what's going on. I wanted to destroy thoughts and concepts of what images should look like. Your comfort zone is in a fantastical, melty, trippy art style. And that's all fine and good. But today, you needed to do something that was clear. The texture in the whole tattoo looks the same. There's a lot of unsure elements. In the first challenge that we assigned you, this is a very nice tattoo. And you definitely had a leg up. But this final tattoo, you made some awkward decisions and went a little overboard. My last tattoo was not spectacular. I can't disagree, but going into the live finale against two really strong competitors, it's a battle that I really want to rise to. Tattoo Baby and Kyle, one of you will not be competing in the live finale. The judges have decided, Kyle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Today, your canvases are completely open. You'll have six hours to tattoo them with the design of your choice in the style of your choice. Ooh. All right. Most of the past seasons, we've had artists that have come on and not got to show their style and gone home before they even had a chance. Now you have the ability to show us that it's worth you being here. We want to see what it is that you like to do. I'm doing a big old crazy black and gray skull. My reputation's on the line today. It's more than essential that I redeem myself. I do mainly fine line black and gray. If I want something, I will punch and kick and fight till I get it. This tattoo, it's hard to tell what's going on. Seems like he's taking a step backwards. Artists, this week you're fighting for an Ink Master shop, and one of you won't get one. David. Do you believe that this tattoo will earn you a shop here? I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. But is it readable? Can anybody look at it and go, skull? Look at the nose, the mouth, the jawbone. Hard to see what's going on there. It's a mess. You didn't make a great decision here. This week, we're testing your adaptability. Adaptability is the ability to work with any canvas and do any style tattoo on any part of the body. Today, you'll be going head to head on the same canvas at the same time. What? Because you must create interlocking tattoos. What? God. This is crazy. I've never done anything like this. Each of you must tattoo one of your canvas's forearms. Not only must each forearm stand alone as a complete piece, but when your canvas's forearms are touching, both tattoos must seamlessly connect to create one larger, impressive image. What the hell? You have to adapt to the canvas's needs, adapt in the drawing styles, adapt in the fact that these have to form together. This is just a cluster of all kinds of adaptability. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. You have to work together. If you do not match, you are out. What are you looking to do? We want two dragons fighting. An interlocking peacock. So the bird on one arm and the feathers on the other arm. What is that? I don't even know. I don't understand. How do you put a peacock head on one side and its tail feathers on the other? There's no way to make that look good. Let me just hear exactly what you wanted again. Two dragons fighting. Like a Chinese oriental style dragon. Kind of, I like the uh, like the different type of Godzilla monsters. Some more medieval looking. Not medieval, just something unique. I am so freaking stressed out of my mind right now. What we were thinking about is black dragons. You feel me? Yeah. Do you like the ideas of that? 
If you're gonna come and ask me for a tattoo, you better open your mouth and tell me what you want. I'm gonna spend all night drawing this, and if you come in here and we're not on the same page, you're gonna me out of a hundred thousand dollar tattoo. There's people you don't want to with in life. Your heart surgeon, your hairstylist, and don't with your tattoo artist. What's happening, guys? I like dragon. the look of this dragon, but instead of go with two dragons, if we could go with one dragon connecting between the two arms. They're not gonna look good singularly on their own. You're gonna have one arm that just has some parts of body on it. This is like maybe this part has the head and then goes through like some sort of hole or something, I don't know. And then like it might have some wings and then go back around to the bottom part and... Is it your goal today to give me a goddamn heart attack or what are no, we doing? No, I don't wanna give you a heart attack. But... Okay, well I need to know what you're thinking, bro. I just feel like it's gonna be uh, kind of big. You're a grown man. Let's give you a big boy tattoo and make it badass. There comes a time when you have to trust your tattoo artist, you need to sit down, shut the f up, and hold on for the ride. Are we doing that little bit of the, the tip solid black or are we leaving it open? Mine's open. I know for a fact that I can beat out Aaron in this head-to-head. -head. I came here to beat my rival. Now is my opportunity to make sure that Aaron goes home. It's a done deal. So what do you want to do about background? I don't know yet, Emily. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more tattooing. What do you think? It's awesome, man. Good job. Chris, who doesn't even do Japanese, did a way better tattoo than Jason. It's obvious that his anxiety is getting to him again. He's slipping. He's definitely not performing at the level that he thinks that he can. You want to be Ink Master? Not going to happen this way, buddy. Today, you had to show adaptability by working with another artist to create interlocking tattoos. Emily and Aaron. It's a tough artistic choice to show adaptability. It looks like this peacock looked into a mirror and is so hideous that it shattered the mirror. Let's move into Emily's tattoo. I love the head on this peacock. There's some nice detail happening in the face of this bird. If you're gonna put this much detail into the head, then why not the feathers? We were definitely going for a stylized look on it. You took a very grade school attempt at those. Aaron. If you're asked for a mirror and feathers, it has to be completely legible that did not happen. Emily's peacock is a peacock. It is legible. It was tough. It was tough coming up with the design and the layout. Maybe if you did a smaller mirror with a handle on it and wrap feathers around it and did a really ornate handle and do something beautiful, that is your game changer. Final decision. Because I immediately recognized what I'm looking at, I'm going with Emily's. I'm going to go with Emily as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Chris and Jason. How did you guys collectively land on this concept? We both decided we were going to do Japanese dragons. Overall, it's one piece. Obviously, you see the red flame that trickles from one side to the next. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of interlocking. I think you totally miss working together on the bottom, on the ending of the tattoo. Could have easily found a way to flow those two things together with loose shapes. Chris. I can follow the twist of this dragon around, leaving the face kind of protruding out towards the front. It makes it more readable from a distance. Jason. I'm having a hard time picking out this guy's lower jaw. It's forward, it's protruding. But there's nothing coming off of the bottom jaw. I understand what you're saying, but it's because the angle of his head is coming at you more like... It looks weird, man. It looks like an old man. Japanese being your specialty, it should be ironclad. This should be very legible. And the fact that it's hard to read and hard to see what's going on is troubling for me. It really does amaze me that Jason's proportions are so off. What is it? It's just a spaghetti mess. Final answer? I'm going with Chris. Chris beat you out on the face. You lost this battle to somebody that doesn't do this. I'm pretty let down on this one. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and it was done by Jason. You don't really know what you're looking at. It seriously took me five minutes staring at this to figure out where the head was. I don't think there's much detail going into the scales. I'm not a big fan of that face. It seems like he's got a tumor on the top of his head or something. It's weird. 
This is my tattoo. My artist was Aaron. I'm happy with it. At the top of the mirror, the three circles, the one on the left is lower than the one on the right. I'm not crazy about the mirror. The peacock feathers don't have enough detail. They could have definitely put more line work in there. Yeah. Today, you had to create interlocking tattoos in teams. Jason, Julia, and Aaron. Any one of you could be justifiably sent home. Jason, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I just had an off moment. I was dealing with anxieties, pushing themselves on me. The fact that it was hard to read, something that's confusing and hard to read to us, it's definitely going to be hard to read to them. I just did a horrible design. I'm trying to put it behind me. I'm here to be the ink master. Aaron. This looks very remedial. I'm not super proud of it. I wasn't into the subject matter, which shouldn't play a part, but it did. That's where then I have issue. It is not fair to be called Ink Master if you cannot draw a design pleasing enough to yourself to then tattoo. I feel like Aaron's was done more poorly than mine. You see the bridge of that nose, right? That face is Did I say it's the best portrait I've ever done? No. I wish I put more detail in there. You didn't even there. understand like, what the gentleman was saying at this moment. At least you can see what my tattoo is. You, on I your best day, cannot touch my home. worst work. You have a big black blob on someone's arm. I swear to you, if I go home before these two, I will quit tattooing. I tattooed my leg for six freaking hours because I wanted stop. to be right here. Just stop. It's one thing to defend your work. It's another thing to fight a losing battle. And but you are fighting a losing battle. The judges have decided. Julia, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing your technical application. Technical application is how well you can tattoo line work, texture, colors, all of the pieces rolled into one. You must prove you can show flawless technical application by tattooing any design on any canvas. What do you mean by that? And your canvases are here to get exactly what they want. Well, they want. Come towards me a little bit more. Alan Robinson wanted everything that makes him think of Detroit in one tattoo. I talked him down to just getting the Detroit city skyline, a D for Detroit, and an area code. Even though I made this design a lot smaller, there's still a lot going on. I know it probably sucks for the most part, but suck it up even if you are hurting. He keeps jumping up and looking in the mirror every five minutes. Every time he jumps up, it slows me down. If this tattoo isn't finished, I could go home for it. Today, you had to show perfect technical application by tattooing a professional football player with the design of his choice. Duffy. Overall, the tattoo's readability and legibility is where you really fall short. Your 313, the top of the farthest three, fits right into the skin rip. You lose it. Your areas of skin that come over the top of the D itself, again, you lose it. Well, my plan was to leave the sky pretty heavy dark so that D would stand out. But once I just realized he wasn't going to sit for all that solid, I have just you ever, that Have plan. you ever sat for four or five hours on your ribs? Not on my ribs. It's an experience. Being a football player, I thought that he would definitely push through. You have to be able to give yourself an out when you're doing these designs because you've now camouflaged the entire piece. Technically, you applied this thing really well, and at the same time, it's incredibly unreadable. Your numbers, your lettering, and your rip are the same. There were some things that I had to change halfway through just because it was painful for them. If this tattoo came out of my shop, I wouldn't be one bit bummed. I think it looks fine. You can read that thing? Yeah. I get it's your homegirl, but it's not readable, man. You wouldn't do it that way. Listen, we got to send somebody home today. And the gig is what's readable and what's not. James. Yes, sir. This week, you are calling the shots. What is the next elimination tattoo? Traditional style Japanese dragon with water. A Japanese dragon is super complicated and has so many rules that you need to abide by. And if one of those elements is missing, you're done. Dragons only. James, why did you choose that? Through all the seasons, everybody's up a dragon. 
I specialize in it, so see if they can handle it. This has to be crystal clear so that it's not interpretation. Call out whatever it is you're looking for. It's gonna have to be in a traditional style. Bold outlines and the way traditional dragon's supposed to look. I've had kid gloves going into everything, but I'm gonna call you out on every thing I can find. Every last one of you. We haven't even gotten started on these things, and Nunez is already pissed at everybody. He knows everything there is to know about Japanese dragons. This is not gonna be good. Everybody's James, have a seat. I'm open about a lot of things, but it ain't coming off the ribs. Okay. I had lap band surgery. You had lap band surgery? I had it done. I lost every 200 pounds. Can I take a look at your ribs? Yeah, sure. Holy crap. A lot of loose skin the swelling of the skin is gonna be immediate. When people lose a lot of weight, their skin becomes very rubbery. It's like thin paper. You can blow a line just by whispering. The biggest thing that I have going against me is your skin. Of course you gotta overcome and adapt. Is the skin as bad as you thought it was? Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. There I am. Burned so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat and they're trying to take me out, so I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? Starting to get a little rough? It wasn't for the burn, let me straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure Sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid because he's going to get spanked today. I definitely stress line work. Trying to throw a bunch of different line weights. A lot of people try to just go bold and keep it that way. I've been tattooing 25 years. I draw Japanese-style tattoos all day long. Man, you got a lot of stuff going on in that thing. I do huge pieces. I, I love it. I'm gonna put claws, scales. Get my damn scale on. Put a little shade in there. Put a little shade in there. That's cool. I got this tattoo in the bag. What up, MJ? Trying to keep it traditional. I knew Japanese day would be hard for me. I studied koi fish, lotus, geisha, everything except for a dragon. I'm kind of shooting in the dark. Let's take this last stab at it, okay? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got nothing left. I'm screwed. Sounds like rattlesnake over there. I can smell death on Japanese day. This is gonna be an absolute <laughs> show murder fest. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out, except for James. He looks fine. I think I put enough scales on this bit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get this thing finished or not. Why did I put so many scales in this? I just want to saw my canvas's leg off and throw it straight at Chris Nunez. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. That's amazing. Thank you, man. The dragon is absolutely awful. There is not one redeeming quality about this tattoo. Sausage is going home, and I'm the boot that kicked him out the door. Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. Maddie. The legibility is the issue because you have so many turns and so many twists that are not lining up. I don't know that I would have done the belly the same color because you're making it more camouflaged. If I did do spines a different color, all of the mistakes you're pointing out to me would be emphasized. So what are you going to do? The weird section to this is the back hips that you did. Just a tiny little tail coming out. Megan Jean. I think your design's rigid. You have a lot of different scale patterns going on in your tattoo. And it's a big thing that we see go really wrong here. Some of them will run a certain way, some of them have a certain distance, and you have really rigid water. Japanese is not my specialty. Water is something that is prevalent in more than Japanese tattooing. It's really rough when you see somebody that's a really high gloss tattooer not know how to do water or not know how to do scales. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. James. 
from the head all the way to the top, the flow of the spine, I love that. And the really nice scaling that you did and the way that the plates fall over each other on the turns. Overall, man, you definitely show off and do a lot of great things in this. But when you look at the whole tattoo, where's the face? Which part of the body is which part of the body? When you back up on this thing five feet, what the is going on with it? You have that eyebrow, and then the spine of the other body come around is directly right where that eyebrow is. Then you got the nose, and where the body comes off the nose is perfectly right off that nose with the same green. It's so on top of itself that you lost it on legibility for me today. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Every one of them has challenges. Which one would I side with? James, just because it's the most comprehensive background and foreground. For me, I can't tell what the f is going on with that man. He lost it. I can't either. Yeah. But the water's nice, the clouds are nice, the background's nice. You're looking at traditional Japanese elements. That's one thing, but we're looking at overall legibility. When you look at the whole tattoo, I think it's confusing as f hell. You're crazy. We are here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo. My artist was Maddie. That head looks weird. His whiskers are so little. Are those whiskers? It's like a little nail coming out of his face. The claws look cartoonish. I think you nailed it. Yeah, if you just take off the feet and head, you got a banging ass tattoo. This is my tattoo, our sausage. It's too black. I really can't see the scales or nothing. Yeah, it's too much shading. It's hard to read. You should have put some color in it. But then that's the difference between a black and gray and a color tattoo. But that's a black and dull tattoo then, because it's really dull. Is this blowing in the bottom? Hell no. Today, you were judged on legibility, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's now time to find out who the Human Canvas jury chose. Oh, son of a bitch. Sausage, you're here because the Human Canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Ron, why did the Human Canvas jury vote Sausage to the bottom? They said it was too dark, and that was it. I'm sorry, Ron. This is not where I expected to see no, you don't, at all. You ain't gotta be sorry about nothing. I was a bad canvas. It hurt. He took some breaks, and we did the best we could. I don't see this being a bad tattoo at all. I don't care what anyone says. I appreciate everything you've done for me. OK, Ron, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you guys. You have a nice standout head if you look at just the drawing, but you didn't do the right things in the shading of this tattoo to accentuate that. I definitely have some shading issues. When I see black tucked into whiskers like that, my immediate response is somebody was trying to cover up a mistake. The scales are done well. The, the face is done well. It's not like I'm going to go back upstairs and the bed. I'm going to come back out swinging for the fences again. If sausages tattoo walked into my shop, I would question whether that person knows how to tattoo. But I do feel that mine was more legible. I don't. Megan, your tattoo, you have a lot of camouflaging. Your water is very similar to your dragon's beard. I did the best I could with making sure I got black in the dragon to try and separate them out from the water. I was trying to hit the challenge. You put the head where you put it. You put the body where you put it. It was your choices that made it hard to read. Maddie. You have kind of a weird over top of each other body thing that makes it hard to read where the body's going. I get what you say about it being weird. It looks like a really nicely finished weird tattoo. If you make it through, you got to Swing. Judges, it's time to decide who is going to be packing their machines. Of the four that are down here, Maddie's might be the most legible of the four. Because the actual application is still appealing to the eye. And Jimmy, I don't like the composition, but I can still see it. Are we talking between Megan Jean and Sausage yeah. right now? Both have problems with legibility. As far as the Japanese dragon goes, Megan, your execution's cleaner, but yours is really camouflaged. Sausage, I commend you for the application and for everything that went in, but the anatomy fails you. Final decision. Megan Jean. Damn. The judges have decided. Megan Jean, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Honestly, it was really, really close. Megan Jean, please pack your machines and close shop. This week, you are being tested on consistency. Oh, man. Consistency in tattooing is making sure that throughout your whole tattoo, nothing is irregular. Nobody wants a wonky tattoo. Consistency is key. And there is no better test of consistency than collaborating with other artists to create oh, a series of tattoos. A series? Each artist on your team must create one tattoo. And every member of your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. Oh, my God. What? All of us? All four at once? 
That is just insane. We're gonna be in each other's space. I'm working here and I have somebody working next to me, stretching, moving the skin. It's just a crazy environment. I mean, maybe you know that's what? a good thing because we only have three. It's better for us, yeah. man. Three. three is a lot easier than doing five. Someone's getting five tattoos today. Uh, How? <laughs> good luck, Midwest. Five tattoos at the same time. Buckle up. Just as your four regions make up the United States, Ancient Greeks believed that there are four elements that make up all matter. Okay. Earth, wind, water, and fire. You can tattoo any style, but each of your tattoos must consistently incorporate your team's element. Midwest, you get the last skull. Water. The Midwest is landlocked. We don't do a lot of water tattoos. We don't see a lot of water in our daily lives. I can't even swim. OK, what if we did things that were seashell themed, like if we did a seashell, starfish, coral? I feel like a seashell is like something that we could all nail in our own style so nothing falls short. Right. Because I feel like if we were to pick the same style, like if we're all doing color, like I'm going to fall short compared to you two. OK, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. How's it treating you so far? What's difficult about it? Positioning, light. I'm like 90 degrees to how I would like to be tattooing. Oh, shit. Sorry. Let me know if I need to get out of your way at all. This is going very poorly. The inside of my starfish has a lot of circles. It's very difficult to cleanly tattoo. I, I'm not going to be able to do these small lines with someone right next to me. I'm going to finish these lines up here and then cycle out. We're not little people, and we're inside of this four-foot area, but Kelly's the only one that's in between two people. I mean, what if Jarrell flexes? OK, wait, hey, hold on. Let me finish these two lines, and I'll jump up, OK? I hate collaboration tattoos. I can't get my own space. It's like, Kelly, just pull it together. Yours have a similar feel, only like, you know, his is in color. Yeah, and then it's like, same with them, but it's like, nah. Yeah. All of the other team's approach to this looks way more consistent than ours. Their tattoos actually look like they're in a series. Ours, not so much. It looks like we have five different tattoos by five different people with five different ideas. It's kind of fun tattooing this close because I get to see how you guys tattoo. I know, right? Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating multiple tattoos on the same canvas as a team. Jake. Cute little crab drawing, bold outline, but the water on this thing is a bummer. You know, water can't just wiggle in whatever way it wants to, and it has a flow to it. Frank. I like the shell, the water. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. I don't know what's going on. The water itself is so HD and so over the top that it doesn't match the shell. These are two separate thoughts, so now the shell looks not finished. Jordan. I like your helmet. You hit some nice details in the cage in the front, but the water on the bottom, it almost looks like a bottom jaw of a skull with rotted out teeth. It looks like a million different things to me. It's not just. Boom, it's water. Tattoos are good, we just chose wrong. Jarrell. It's camouflage, man. It is hard to read. The pearl's supposed to be white and shiny, and it's as dark as the shell. It's just too much craziness going on in a small thing. The flow of this water looks like a splash. But the problem is, water's clear. Water's not black. It should be light, light, light shaded. Kelly. Kind of crazy on the design. It's mist, it's smoke. Because it's blue, doesn't make it water. You see a lot of inconsistencies in those circle outlines, so the overall piece turns inconsistent. How'd they do overall as a team? Two went different directions, three went the same direction. Yeah, it's almost like everybody do your own thing, but make sure it's got terrible water. 